Okay. Where's my, where's my parrot? I <laughs> most okay. of, uh, most of the time I just sit uh, around the table and eating. And and you I, eat, yeah. Because I was young at that moment, yes. so I pay little attention to the new couples. Okay. Okay. Do you like it very much attending weddings? <laughs> Not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you are impressed. That's the thing that makes you makes you most impressed of the wedding. Yeah. Right. And also in weddings, you need to socialize with people, with strangers, because, for example, you're going to attend. It's just you and your parents, right? And you don't know the rest of the people so you really need to socialize uh, yes yes i have to <laughs> i have to see many uh, re relatives yeah okay any questions about this for uh helen for this one for the word bridegroom this just simply means the groom or the guy to be married uh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, bride, bride, bride. Yes, because usually we are always uh, we are using the word groom only for most of the time, right? So this one is unusual. Okay, so that's for question number two, and the third one. This is after marriage, or we are going to differentiate having a romantic relationship to a marriage. So. For the words that you may use, you have the word love, of course, life, merits, and flaws. Merits, this one is something that make you proud or something that is... Okay, so that is the quality of someone of having, of being good or he or she deserves a praise, it's like that. And flaws... These are the faults, or these are the negativity to that person. Negative. So these one are antonyms. Practice. Tolerance. For tolerance, the meaning of that is the willingness to accept the behavior and beliefs. Let's say, for example, Cecilia is marrying a guy that has a bad vice or bad behavior. She needs to accept that. So that that is the meaning of tolerance accepting now Helen, your turn i will be asking you a question talk about the differences between a romantic relationship and a marriage what do you think are the difference between the two right uh, in my opinion okay. uh, a romantic relationship may be uh, let me think of it. Okay. Uh, let's talk about marriage first. Okay, okay, yeah. I think a marriage, a good marriage is based on true love. Yes. Uh, but you have to... But, but uh, the, the marriage... <laughs> but in a, in a marriage, mm -hmm. you have to lead a... A peaceful life with another one. Yes. With another one. That's the most uh, difficult part. Yeah. You need to accept what you have you to accept there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, since everyone has his, his own flaws. Yeah. So you need to. Uh, it's 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 really difficult to tolerate. Yes. Because, yes. Uh, with, with, with each other yes and if especially if they are newly married they need to adjust first right and how yeah. how about a romantic relationship or those with both a girl boyfriend girlfriend thing or they are still in a relationship but they don't have any commitment or the ring or marriage uh. yes uh, if 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 a boy and a girl were in a are in a 
relationship. They may. <laughs> they 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 may pay much more attention. Yes. On their, on, on their goodness. Yeah. On their on their advantage advantages. Yes. And they, yeah, they are still having fun because they there's no commitment. Yeah. 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 So it's more hard to be in um to be tied up or to be married. Yes, of course, than to have a rom romantic relationship because for this one, you're going to have a commitment. Yeah. So good job, Helen, with with your opinions. Any questions about number three? Any questions about question number three, Helen? Mm, no. Okay, so let's proceed now to the fourth one. And this one is you may use make use of the words. Of course, you are already familiar with this family, friends. And a while ago, you told me that you have have been into a, a wedding ceremony. So of course, you are really familiar with this one. Do you prefer? Okay, so let's just have this an example, Helen. For example, you are going to be, get married, or you will be having a wedding ceremony. Do you prefer inviting a lot of people, or just your family and closest friends to your own wedding, and why? What do you prefer? Um, I prefer to. Just invite my families and the close friends. Okay. Because. Uh, yeah. Be because the, the the because marriage is a very private private yes. thing. There's no need to in invite a lot of people. Yes. You have Unless to, you are a celebrity. To share the happy. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go on. <laughs> go. Uh, you, you just to need uh, you you just to uh, you just need to share the happiness with your friends and families. Okay. To, uh, yeah. And like to the best ways to okay to invite to, to invite them to the wedding. Yes, and like to cherish the moment, right? To make it solemn. And to make it more memorable, because if there's a lot of people, you can no longer enjoy unless you are really that social or you are really used to a lot of people or a crowd. Very good, Helen. Let me ask you: um, since you are a working, uh, yeah, working adult, uh, are you married or not yet? <laughs> Let me just ask you. I'm just uh, no. okay. No, no, <laughs> so in the future, okay. So in the future, maybe you're going to invite just your family and your closest friends. Okay, Helen. Any questions about the question number four? Mm, I'd like to know. Okay. About the, the 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 wedding in your your in your country. In the tradition. Was there a is it, okay. Uh, in as I have noticed, 